Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to create this animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. So first one, let's create a new background layer with solid, add the name background, click OK. And go to FS Presses, search effect gradient ramp, select gradient ramp, let's use for solid layer. And go to start color, choose here red, or let's choose like this color, white color, and end color, let's choose like this, and change ramp shape, radial ramp, and swap colors, and let's swap colors again, and change ramp scatter 100. Okay, select this point, move it down, and this move it down, and let's try other colors, for example, this red, and this color okay not bad click ok so let's lock layer and go to text and also enable title action save right here live classification tool and move to here let's go to front uh, font sizes we can change font size like this and for move to anchor point center Holds control, double click, pen behind icon. Classification tool, go to window. Okay, use anchor point mover here for move to anchor point center or down or top. Also, we can use manually here. So, let's go to window and enable align. Click this icon and this icon for move to text to center. Let's select this live. Control D, again, control D for four text layers. This is, let's change name L and this i and this v and this e and let's select this l control d move to down and change name sample and select this sample go to fs process search effect fill select fill use for text and change color for now black let's see okay and let's local layer select this l Let's double click for edit. And let's first one select this E, V, and I. Let's hide. Select this L, double click, and delete these letters. Classification tool and move to left. Let's move to left. Let's see. Okay. We can put directly like this. And I, let's enable and double click and write I. Classification tool and move to left. And V, let's enable. Let's double click, right V, classification tool and move to right. And E, let's enable and double click, edit, right E and classification tool and move to right. Okay, so let's select this sample and delete. So we have four letters layers and select all layers all of them layers go to window and anchor point mover so right now i'm gonna move the anchor points down let's click this icon for move to down all of them layers also can do this with manually way in this time let's select this l and press s let's click this icon and create scale zero and this is zero and create scale keyframe and go to 10 keyframes for shortcut you can press hold shift press page down in keyboard and chain scale 100 and this 100 okay you can change this 120 okay and this let's go to 10 keyframes again change this 80 and this 110 let's see Okay, go to 10 keyframes, change this 110 and this 95. Again, 10 keyframes, 100 and this 100. And select keyframes, make it easy. Or click F9, let's see. Okay, not bad. So, we have more keyframes for bounce animation. And select these keyframes, let's copy, go to 
other letter layers. Press S, open scale and control V or test keyframes. Let's see. Nice. And select this eye. Let's go to three keyframes. For go to frame by frame keyframes, you can press page down keyboard. One, two, three. And select this eye. Let's move to right. Again, go to three keyframes. One, two, three. Select V and move to right. Again, one, two, three. Select E and move to right. Let's see. Nice. Very good. And go to shape layers. Hold this icon and choose ellipse tool. Let's hold shift. Make one ellipse. Calculation tool, click this icon for move to anchor point center and change color. Let's go to shape layer, fill, try use yellow. In this time, select this shape layer one, change name one and move to down. I'm going to use other shape layers. Let's use this rectangle tool. Calculation tool and change color. For example, let's use green. And name, let's change to. Go to shape layers, hold this icon, choose polygon tool. Let's hold shift, create like this. And color, let's use purple. Click OK. Open polystar one. Let's change some settings. Let's change radius like this. And outlines and points. We can use three points. Okay, and change name three and move to down. And click this icon for move to anchor point center. Also for this, move to anchor point center. And again, let's go to shape layers. Let's use star. Hold shift and create one star. And move to here. Let's move to anchor point. Click this icon, move to anchor point center and change color red. Change name for and select these shape layers. Let's go to here, search size for change sizes and change. Let's change size like this and this. Let's select these text layers and move to right. Go to first second, select this first ellipse tool and press P and move to down and create new passing keyframe. Go to 10 keyframes and move to up. Again, go to 10 keyframes, move it down. And select keyframes, make it easy. Go to graph editor and select this graph. Let's make smooth graph. Okay, let's make smooth more for failing animation. Okay, this is much more realistic. And back to keyframes, go to first second and hold shift, press S. Let's click this scale icon, create scale keyframe and go to here let's change scale like this and change this 100 and next few frame change scale like this again for failing select two frames make it easy and select this two frame move to left and this move to right okay that's good and select these two frames let's copy go to other layers and control V for paste. Let's see. Okay, so in this time, let's select these text layers, move to left, and select this layer two. Go to last seconds, press P, select position two frames, and move to right. Select layer three, press P, select position two frames, and move to right. Again, select layer 4, press P, select position two frames and move to right. So let's close these settings. OK, and select these text layers, move to right. Select these layers, press P and move to down. And select layer 2, go to three two frames, one to three. Move to right, again one to three, move to right, and again one to three, move to right. Okay, and select these text layers, move to left. Let's see timing. I want to create perfect timing for text layers. 
and let's select these text layers move to up here in this time we can cut layer go to edit and split layer or control shift d delete and layer 2 right now let's split layer delete and layer 3 again go to edit and split delete and let's one layer go to edit and split delete let's see okay select these layers and enable motion blur okay and for more dynamic we can use animation comes as three let's go to window enable animation comes as three if you have not this animation comes as three i will add a link on the session below you can get it's free and open starter precoms shape elements i'm gonna use particle firework let's click and add and close window select particle let's see okay right now we can use one here again control d move to right and one here again control d and one here let's see nice okay and let's create shadow go to shape layers hold this icon and create ellipse tool and let's make one shadow like this click session tool go to stroke change color like this black click ok and change name shadow and move to behind of shape layers and move to down and select shadow press t change opacity and go to fs press source effect gaussian blur select gaussian blur use for shadow and for smooth shadow change blueness and select this shadow let's press t change opacity zero and right now let's create opacity keyframe and go to here change 75 and make it easy let's move to left these keyframes we can create scale keyframes select this shadow hold shift press s open scale click this scale icon and create scale keyframe and click this icon for move to anchor point left and move to left like this and opacity and change scale like this and go to next keyframe change 100 and make it easy okay this is much more realistic and for background let's create grid select this background let's unlock and control d for duplicate change name grid and delete gradient ramp go to fx presser search effect grid and select this grid from generate folder used for grid solid layer and change size form with slider and change slider like this and opacity okay and let's turn off titillation save okay and let's go to fs presser source effect cc lens select lens use for grid and change grid size and here let's create size keyframe go to 10 keyframes let's press u and change this for stretch let's see and let's change to back select two frames and make it easy nice select two frames let's see better timing move to left and select all two frames hold alt move to left so guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video, leave comments and have a good day. Good luck.